Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Elisa McKay, and I'm in the courtyard at the Caribbean Museum Center for the Arts in Frederickstead. And I will be interviewing Wilfred Labiosa from Puerto Rico, and he's the curator for this upcoming fantastic art exhibit. It's happening October 8th. Good afternoon, Wilfred. Welcome. Thank you for the invitation and thank you for making this time um, here in Frederickstead. I'm in Frederickstead as well, um, in the Caribbean Museum Center for the Art shop downstairs, so. Oh, okay, well, Fred, uh, tell me something about, and tell me the title. I, I know you can say it better in Espanol, uh, <laughs> the title of the exhibit and what, what it means. Sure, the exhibit is titled Dualidad Antillana or Antilles Duality, Cuba and Puerto Rico. And is an exhibit that explores the arts of Cuba and Puerto Rico in different, um, from photography to silk screens, to original pieces, to even um, an installation of a studio that you would visit in Old Havana of a photographer. Wow, so all of these pieces came from both islands? Yes. That is correct. Um, all the pieces from Cuba came from Cuba. That's wonderful. Um, and so, also from um, Puerto Rico. Have you finished? I know you're here curating, and I'm just setting up my earphones so I can hear you better. Um, so you have, how many pieces are, are in the show? So there's over 40 pieces um, of silk screen between photography, um, and wood sculptures um, that were brought from Puerto Rico that are images of orishas, which is part of the Cuban African religion that is also practiced in Puerto Rico, but that are imagery of Catholicism. So um, all these pieces were brought to the Frederickstead, to St. Croix. Um, and this weekend I'm here setting up for the opening that is going to be held on October 8th, but the exhibit runs through December 23rd. Fabulous. So how long will you be here on St. Croix? <laughs> so I am here this weekend and then I'll be back throughout the exhibit um, with special events that we're doing throughout October, November and December um, to explore different facets of Cuban and Puerto Rican artistry, including culinary arts. So we're going to be bringing a chef from Cuba that explores um, and that's more details are coming up in November for that special event. But we're going to have salsa dance lessons. We're going to have also um, music and art from both islands. That's wonderful. I just interviewed one of the um, artists who will be entertaining. I interviewed him earlier today. Oh, and, excellent. Um, yeah, Rive Diaz. So it, it's, it's an exciting event, yes. And um, tell me again the number of, of pieces. There's over 40 pieces um, in the okay. exhibit between photography sculptures okay. and original pieces of artwork that were brought from both islands and really explores and what i wanted to do is the duality of both islands as you know all of our islands were conquered by the spaniards in the 1400s but both of these islands puerto rico and cuba really took different paths um, after the americans um conquered these both islands so um i wanted to explore that through the arts so there are some political images um that are still screened as well as some photography um, from Cuba that really um, explores the people and the artistry of the buildings. Um, and we also included some original piece of artwork um, from some artists that explored the imagery of the woman and the man of both islands and our heritage. Because as you know, we have black heritage, we have native Indians and Spaniard heritage plus some Asian. Um, so I do explore all of that in the pieces that I curated for this exhibit. Wow, what I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to going upstairs because I'll be taking a couple of photos of the work, but what a diverse culture so that it, it's gonna encompass so much. Yeah, yeah. and as you know, um, St. Croix included, um, all mm -hmm. of our islands have such intersectionalities of our cultures. Um, and intersectionalities of that makes us um, people who live in these islands. And we're very rich in our culture, so we need to explore and we need to celebrate it. Yes, and there is a, an, uh, 
a gallery. I think it's your dad's. Is it in, in Puerto Rico? Yeah, so I was immersed in this um, world of the art because my dad is a well-recognized artist, the late Wilfred Labiosa. He was my dad. And there's some pieces of him um, in the exhibit. Um, I always include him. Um, and we had an art gallery, the oldest in Puerto Rico, 60 years um, going. Um, we had to close our door because of the economy in Puerto Rico, so we're virtual now. Um, you know, the economy was hit it hit us hard and the art world, you know, it hit us hard. So um, in the exhibit, I did include some of those pieces. And there's also a silk screen that it was one of the first pieces that was done between Puerto Rico and Cuba, that it was to showcase the, um, the exhibit of my dad after he passed away. I did an exhibit that traveled all around the world. And it was one of the first exhibits that went to Cuba of all, um, all of one artist from Puerto Rico. And it was exhibited in three spaces in Cuba. And there was a silk screen done um, to celebrate that. And that I included in the piece that, in this exhibit, and that piece is done by a Cuban artist um, to celebrate my dad's work. Oh, beautiful. I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing that. Uh, what else can you tell us about the exhibit or about yourself? Um, do you have any work in this exhibit? <laughs> so I'm not an artist. I'm a mental health care <laughs> professional in Puerto Rico. I okay. lead an organization that works with the LGBT older adults. Um, and so that's my, my brain usually every day works on that mental health field. But um, the art, I have been brought up in the arts. And so I, um, I try to curate this exhibit honoring the artists and the teachings of my dad. But I also included some other um, artists that are young, um, that are beginning in the art field in Puerto Rico and Cuba, but also some of the masters that people know, like Tufino in um, Puerto Rico and also Fuster in Cuba. So I really put some of the masters alongside with the young artists that are emerging in both of our islands, in Puerto Rico and Cuba. Um, in Cuba, I was fascinated by the art. I have been, I even, um, took a degree, you know, I got a degree in Cuba in the University of La Habana. And so I lived in Cuba for a while studying. So while I lived there, I was able to learn about the arts, um, artists that live in the island and meet some of them. And so I was able to visit a lot of the studios of some of these um, artists that I am putting in this exhibit. Exciting. So that's a great dichotomy with emerging plus professional experience, um, well-known artists to for them to marry. Yeah, and I think it's and I and I think it's important to bring both um, artists to Saint Croix, and it was very important for us at the Caribbean Museum Center for the Arts because I'm also part of their board um, to include Cuban artists to celebrate heritage, the Latino heritage, because it's so diverse, and I think it's the first time that Cuban artists um, are included in an exhibit here at the Caribbean Museum and in St. Croix and in the U.S. Virgin Islands. I don't think um, ever has been both type of artists from Cuba and Puerto Rico in one exhibit here in the island. So I might be wrong, I'm not sure, but yeah, I think the same I am, time. it is the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for the same time, because usually this weekend here in St. Croix is celebrated the Puerto Rican um, folks who live here and the heritage of Puerto Rican during the weekend. So this is the first time that we're taking a stand in bringing other artists from other islands that are Spanish speaking and that have Latino heritage um, into St. Croix. So we're very excited about that as a museum. And I think I'm very excited personally to be able to bring Cuban artists here to St. Croix. That's so exciting. And thank you for that. That, that That's such a rich, rich um, heritage and a rich, rich, um, curating that you're doing, the, cu the, the um, artwork that you're cu curating. I think that, that um, we're going to wind it up, if, unless you have something else that you'd like to say. No, um, I encourage everybody to come and visit. Oh, give me one second. There's sound outside. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, okay. Um, I encourage everybody to come and visit the museum and to come more than once to the exhibit because there's a lot of explanations in some of the pieces 
there is so much to explore and to admire um, the pieces. So if you come once, you most probably won't grab all of the art that is included in the museum. So I encourage you to come more than once and to become a member of the museum. So that way you can get um, special invites to our events and throughout the year can come and explore this exhibit and all the other exhibits that we have here at the Caribbean Museum Center for the Arts in Fredrikstad. Yes, and when, when uh, a member makes a purchase, they get a discount. Exactly. So they can come and buy Plus our calendar. Our calendar yes. this year is going to have artists from Cuba and Puerto Rico and many of the other islands. And it was the first time that we got so many artists to um, submit um, their pieces. So we're very excited about the new calendar that is coming for 2022. So come and become a member and get that calendar for free when you become a Yay. member. And we're having so a special raffle on October 8th, as well as special um, um, activities during our um, opening of the exhibit. And even the governor of the U.S. Virgin Islands is coming here. Um, so come and, and celebrate with us the heritage uh, that is found in Cuba and Puerto Rico. And tell us again the uh, title of the exhibit, when it opens, and how long it will be with us when it closes. Sure. Dualidad Antillana Cuba y Puerto Rico opens up October 8th, and it runs through December 23rd, Tuesday through Saturday, between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. So there's no excuse. It's going to be here a long time. People have time to see it. And, and also, if you want to come to the opening, it's an RSVP. Is that correct? So Yeah, they need yeah. to contact the Caribbean Museum Center for the Art. Um, it's free admission. Masks are required. And um, there will be lessons uh, by the St. Croix Bath Ballroom and Latino Dance Club um, between 5 and 6. And 6 to 8, Cuban guitarist Revert Diaz, which I think is the one that you interviewed. Yeah. Um, and 7 to 8, Latin Fusion Band with Adriana and Romanza. And then the governor will be here. So come and visit us October 8th and throughout the exhibit till December 23rd. Fabulous. Thank you so much, Wilfred, for being with us. And thank you for the invitation. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.